sure you listened to Bon Jovi growing up, and you know, and then you get to go out on the road with him. Is there is there ever a point where you you let yourself freak out? Does it happen daily in your head at least? Well, I mean, it's like be like this is insane that I've gotten to this. Well, point. why is insane? Because I've, with that particular tour and that and how they're, I'm sure every tour for the last twenty years is with them is gone. It's like I've never seen. I've seen you know you and our musicians. We've seen lots of bands and lots of big bands and uh, whether you two, even the Police, and did, I've never seen. One song dominate a night like "Living on a Prayer" dominates a Bon Jovi show. Really, I cannot. And they have, you know, while there are a lot of people love that. People love, you know, "Shot Through the Heart." Blah blah blah. And yeah, they got they, they have they have a lot of hits. songs. Yeah, it's a big long show and it's all good. And but then when they get that last song, it's just the place just literally goes insane. I just, it's gonna the whole room's gonna explode and it, it's there's like thirty forty thousand people in there just screaming their asses off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and. Uh, uh, I just couldn't believe it. And so I watch it. You know, you do a show and you couldn't always catch the first set or certain parts of the set you couldn't catch, but some nights you could see the whole night. But like every night I made sure to catch the last couple songs. It was always wanted there alive, living on a prayer. You know, it's like when you go see the Grand Canyon or something when you're a kid, you just want to take it in, like knowing you'll probably never see this again or, or right. you, know, you know, like this the, is a special moment. This is special. And it really was, not to be like kind of cheesy about that, no, but no, it was no. like I'll never get to stand front row and have Bon Jovi wink at me. And while he this moment happens ever in my life, he actually like he That's saw so the bass awesome. player and yeah. I, and he thanked us in front of the whole crowd, and then basically like you know like I'm sure he he winks at most every fan in the front and makes us feel special, but he's good at that. But I was like I'll never get to do that because if I ever got to see Bon Jovi again, I'd probably be like at the closest like the fiftieth row mm-hmm. or something, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean those seats were like thirteen hundred dollars or something. Up yeah, there, you know what I mean and. So I was like, I'll never get to do this again. I'll never get to kind of see behind the scenes this this thing. So I took it in every every night. You know, I made sure. And so I and I, I have nothing in my bedroom except for a, this poster from the Nashville show signed to me from all the Bon Jovi guys. You know, and I never don't need to go see them again. I feel like that memory is complete. Yeah. And not that it was like I was just a spectator watching a Bon Jovi show, just one of thirty five thousand people out there, but. For me, it was a cool thing. It's like, all right, I check. I can check that box. Now let's move on. I don't relate to it in a way that people in bands be like, I wish it was me up there. I'm jealous it's not me. The only thing we have in common is that we both make noise and write and maybe write songs. That's there's a whole. They're on a the different planet of anything I do. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting for me on that tour because. We would do, you know, you have four four nights a week of Bon Jovi shows. You might have two of Dashboard shows mm-hmm. on the days off. And then one show, you'd have, I'd do a show. Would oh, day cool. off. Okay. So I was always playing. And it was funny, the Nashville show, I'll always remember that one because, like, I, we, it was a massive show, you know. But as soon as I was done playing, I didn't even get to see Bon Jovi. I would, there's a place that doesn't even do music now, so I ran and I had a gig of my own. Which like no one came to, you know. What I mean, it was like typical. So I went from playing to like thirty thousand people to like twelve people in this cafe that didn't even want me there. Wow. You know what I mean? It was just like culture shock, totally. Yeah. You know, it's like it just shows you where you are. You know, like so. Even in all the dashboard success, I never got a big head about it because I knew where I was. Mm-hmm. 